very typical double-sided flexible circuit is constructed using polyamid and adhesive layers. So for instance, this double-sided circuit starts with a polyamid film with an acrylic adhesive coated onto it, and that is laminated over a copper etched pattern that has been bonded to a base film using adhesive. And then the reverse is true on the bottom side. And that cover film on the outer layer uh, would be the solder mask layer, is actually a di high performance dielectric film. It's typically drilled with access holes in it prior to lamination so that once it's uh, laminated under pressure and temperature, you get access points to the solder pads or uh, component uh, locations. Now, the alternative uh, to that base flexible circuit, here's one that is a slightly whiter type of color. Now, this is the same construction that I just defined for this one, but this utilizes an FR adhesive, acrylic adhesive that will uh, meet 94B0 uh, flame rating and so the only difference here is the whiter color and that's because of the retardants that are put into the adhesive and so when you see that you can uh, understand that that the uh, uh, circuit itself meets flame retardants requirements. Now one of the uh, another advanced flexible circuit uh, construction is what's called HDI or high density interconnect and this is where the patterns and the overall flexible circuit are highly compact and it requires the flexible circuit to be uh, designed with lines and spaces down as low as two mil lines and spaces, or the, the via holes in the double-sided circuits are one thousandth of an inch in diameter. And in addition, the uh, solder mass layer on the outer side is not a cover film, it's a laser imageable uh, mask, or it is a photo imageable mass to allow a very precise pattern on the outside layer of that flexible circuit. An additional flex circuit that's non-traditional is an adhesiveless system. And this particular example would be that you'd have a polyamide on top, uh, directly mounted onto the copper film, and that copper film is bonded to the base uh, polyamide film. And there's no adhesive going on there at all. It's uh, beast. B stage type of polyimids that under uh, pressure and temperature actually bond very well directly to the copper and directly uh, to the base film. And the, the reason customers use these types of products is usually there's an exposure to a chemistry where uh, the adhesive is susceptible to be break, broken down. Or when you're trying to get a very thin and very highly flexible uh, circuit and you need to have the thinnest overall package that you can uh, obtain and that would be one way you can do that. You can also uh, make flexible circuits with alternative dielectrics over the top. This is one that has a carbon impregnated film for shielding that can be introduced uh, to help signal integrity. One of the products that Allflex is, is a specialist at and that is a high density ultra long flexible circuit and this particular circuit is about 30 thousandths wide. I think there's six conductors on this uh, flexible circuit and it's about uh, five feet long. You can see me pulling it through and even at the end there's a uh, um, conductor uh, ZIF connector on the end of this particular one that we make. So those are some of the examples of the alternative flexible circuits that uh, we produce and that are common in the industry compared to the traditional polyamide adhesive based uh, flexible circuit.